want to do uh, some uh, fanboys episodes here and there. And one one discussion we've had before is the virtual console. You are always uh, wondering why Nintendo just doesn't release all their games and whatnot, and why it's gone. And a lot of people are. And I've always told people that I don't think these games sell as much as you people think. And I think we have the proof now. So the Pokemon series, as you know, is a huge seller. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, Red red and Blue, it's 36 million. And now we have uh, Sword and Chill at 26, and Scarlet and Violet at 23, and Gold and Silver at 22, whatever. You, those are big sellers. But the 3DS, I think it's close to 80 million. It might be in the lower 70s, but whatever. It has a lot of people, right? And on that system, there was a virtual console, and they released red, blue, green, gold, silver, crystal. So seven uh, Pokemon games on there, all classics, all very popular games. Do you know approximately how many copies they sold on the virtual console? Not many, I'm take sure. A, take a guess. Oh, I don't know, all, a million? A million. All seven games combined sold 1.5 million copies. Yeah. All seven games. So that's why there's no more virtual console, guys. It just doesn't sell. Mm -hmm. And it's smarter for them to either repackage these games and sell them individually or do some kind of remaster or whatever the case may be or put them on their the Nintendo Switch app where you have to pay the... What is it? Twenty-five bucks a year, mm. and you get the NES, Game Boy, and Nin Super Nin Nintendo games, stuff like that. So I was curious about your thoughts on that because this kind of proves my points. I, I think that if you go back to the Wii, it's probably even worse back then because people were still not very used to uh, downloading games and all that. But uh, 3DS is still fairly recent. Uh, of course, it's it's a 2011 system, but still, these are highly sellable games, and they only sold 1.5 million copies combined. So. I think that's pretty interesting in its, in its own self. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, that is not surprising at all. Uh, because take the NES, uh, what was it called? The NES Classic, right? That thing sold out overnight and like was impossible to find in this and that and everything else. But it like they manufactured like 50,000. And that's the thing that people don't understand. They don't put these things in perspective. Jared wants a virtual console yeah. and a whatever, but I am I'm I'm well aware of that. That the, like I am in the overwhelming minority when it comes to these sorts of things. Most people are like Tim. They they play their game and they move on. Like and 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 that's that for me it's just i look at it because i like playing the lego like i just i enjoy it right like my a link to the past i have owned that game like 215 times and i love going once a year or twice a year going back and just spending like three hours and going through the whole game like that's just and but i'm, I'm aware that it's me right um i mm. do like it i do think backwards compatibility and, and, like, the whole subject of, like, video game preservation, like, personally, I like that. But that's not really surprising to me. Honestly, it's not. Because I can just see it in, like, the, the people that I interact with. Nobody plays retro. Nobody. And all of these, like, this thing, right? This analog pocket thing. Like, how much are they really selling of these retro systems? Not millions, Definitely no. not millions. You know what I mean? Like, it's probably like 50,000 at the higher end. Like, it's probably somewhere, somewhere. I think even that is a, a, is pushing a, a, a push it. Yeah, I, I agree. For, uh, for that type of thing. I, I think for the NES Classic, they probably sold a few million. That, that was nostalgia. And it's it's nice on a shelf. And moms and dads remember that from their childhood. And they're like, well, we'll buy this. It's cheap. Our kids will play it. And then they'll just, it's just collect dust. But people will, will buy them. But for... Uh, something made from a, a third party company that nobody knows like this will be for the guys like you like yeah, i'm sure exactly. they're, more, they're yeah. profitable but it's not something that uh... no exactly and, and so you know tim and i spoke the other day not about this but we were talking about like uh, xbox right and like how microsoft like they've of all the companies they've probably done the best job of like backwards compatibility and like preservation the fact that like today you can go you said you bought a series s was it yeah, yeah. so like you can go on the series s right now put in your user id 
and like take a look at like how many X- original Xbox games you can download. It's unbelievable. Like, but is that really a system seller? I doubt it. I no. really doubt it. Like I, I'm telling you, my my kids, the like they have a. Uh, 500 or 1,000 games here to play, and they, they don't. Well, that's it. <laughs> They're not interested in, in going back and playing old games and even new games, barely. So, yeah. No, I thought that was interesting. It is. Even it is. I knew uh, why, but I did not think the sales would be that low for uh, for a series such as Pokemon. So Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not that surprised because, let's be honest, like Sony and Nintendo... Um, both of those companies have not invested much, right? Like, in, and when I say backwards compatibility, I don't, uh, that's not the right term. In their legacy software, let's say, they haven't invested a gajillion dollars into like making all these games playable and stuff. And like you said, I think that's the key. If these things had sold 20 million, you bet your ass that <laughs> every yeah. one of them would be, would be playable. It's just for me, it's just. I like the nostalgia. I like the... It, it's a Jared thing, but I know that. I'm weird. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, next.